Jeff Penrod here, and this is the American Patriots Channel. You may wonder what drives me to present these videos to you. Quite simply, it's the pain in my heart that I feel for you and all Americans. I want us to experience so much more than what we are experiencing right now. I have seen in my mind's eye and I have felt in my heart what America can be and it is so much better than the America that we live in right now. You may have heard the saying, you don't know what you're missing. Well, we don't. Long ago, our nation used to be the stuff that dreams are made of. It was the dream come true for those who wrote the Declaration of Independence, which established that we are all equal, that we can be safe, prosperous, and above all, pursue happiness. You see, happiness is no mystery. It was here before, and it can be here again. Thomas Jefferson captured this feeling when he said, How little do my countrymen know what precious blessings they are in possession of, and which no other people on earth enjoy. Listen to this song, and imagine how good it could be once again to live in that America. Ever wondered what life is about? You can search the world and never figure it out. You don't have to sail the oceans. No, no, no. Happiness is no mystery. It's here and now, it's you and me, yeah Hey now, hey now This is what dreams are made of Hey now, hey now This is what dreams are made of I've got somewhere I belong I've got somebody to love this is what dreams are made of This is what dreams are made of Yeah! Here and now, it's you and me. We can bring back that America, the stuff that dreams are made of. America has made some very big promises to each of us, namely life, liberty, equality, and the pursuit of happiness. Why isn't our government doing what it's supposed to do, keeping these promises to the people? Well, I have some good news because I have searched far and wide and have found the answer to that question. To start with, we need a description of what the government should be so that we know what good looks like. In his famous Gettysburg Address, Abraham Lincoln said it best, the government should be of the people by the people, and for the people. Let's break that down and examine each of the three parts. Is our government of the people? In other words, are government officials common everyday folks like us? The short answer is no, they are not. They are most often wealthy and well-connected not like you and me. So right away, that presents a problem because they cannot understand 
our needs. They are out of touch with the people, and it shows. Then, is the government by the people? We choose its members in an election, so you might be inclined to say yes. But who are we actually voting for? Politicians present a false image of themselves, so we really don't know who they are. Not only that, but they tell us only what we want to hear, so we often really don't know what they stand for. Once they get into office, reality sets in, and we are often disappointed. How has the last administration, or the current one for that matter, served you personally? Not well, I expect. But now we have come to the most important of the three, for the people. That's where the rubber meets the road. It's not really all that important if politicians happen to be wealthy and well-connected, or even that they project a false image of themselves as long as they do a good job of serving our needs. I can best illustrate how well they are actually doing by using one of the most recent issues that they are confronting, and that is gun violence. This will be our test case. If we look at the hard numbers, they are failing miserably. Deaths due to gun violence have been steadily increasing and are at an all-time high. George Mason, statesman and contributor to the Declaration of Independence said, every society all governments and every kind of civil compact is or ought to be calculated for the general good and safety of the community. Let's face it, if the government cannot effectively carry out its most important duty of protecting our lives and especially those of our children, then what good is it? What is their damn problem? Let me give it to you in a nutshell. They really don't care. You heard that right. They care far more about their own political power than about saving our lives. The Republicans block almost any new good legislation. Why? because they want gun owners to vote for them and get big campaign contributions from the gun lobby. Oh, but hold on a minute. The Democrats are no better. They make every effort to get us stirred up about how bad those assault rifles are. They want us to believe that they are doing us a great favor by banning those nasty weapons of war so that we will vote for, yeah, you guessed it, them. Well, those guns were banned from 1994 until 2004. Based on the data collected from that ban, if we had continued it until this day, do you know how many lives it would have saved? On average, just 12 per year. Now, don't get me wrong, saving 12 lives is good, but considering that over 44,000 lives are lost each year due to gun violence, saving 12 is a disgrace. It's all about political power. So when it comes to our well-being, forget it. Is there no justice for us? Benjamin Franklin tells us that Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. 
I am deeply concerned that our country is continuing to decline ever so steadily. There are too many Americans that are unwilling to act because for them it hasn't gotten all that bad just yet. Sure, there's inflation, high interest rates, shortages, unrest, division, inequality, poverty, crime, and I could go on. But most Americans are getting by. Are you willing to wait until you personally experience significant hardship or loss and only then decide to act? The time has come to rally together and demand that our government is of the people, by the people, and for the people. That, my friends, would transform America into the promised land, an America that is the stuff that dreams are made of. It would be a place of equal opportunity, prosperity, fair wages and benefits for all workers, and affordable cars, housing, and health care. A place where our children would receive a world-class education with reasonable college tuition. A nation that deals with its immigration obligations fairly and appropriately, controlling its borders. A nation where the fears of gun violence, crime, war, including nuclear war, and climate change have faded into the past. A nation of one people, where diversity is embraced, benevolence and kindness are the norm, and the United States of America is finally united. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.